Hi, my name is Jean Riley. I'm a master of wine. My company, Masterful Wine Events, puts on wine, beer, and spirit education events around the world. Today, I'm going to be talking about the wines of Jura here in Los Angeles. We've got nine wines to try. Jean-Francois Bordy, a winemaker from the Jura, is with us. I would like to thank the Wine Education Council for organizing this event at Spago Beverly Hills. Thank you so much. Um, it's really uh, great to see an incredibly packed house here for a Jura seminar. You know, I don't think this would have happened 15 years ago when I visited the Jura for the first time. Um, I just want to check in the back of the room. Can you hear me? Perfectly. Oh, great. Fabulous. Okay. Uh, it's great to be in New York. You're just loud. <laughs> um, so, uh, many people uh, that I've run into have not been to the Jura, even though the, these wines are incredibly popular right now. Um, Marnie, poor Marnie, almost tore her hair out trying to round up wines for this seminar. We just uh, had trouble locating the wines that are on such allocation. Uh, but despite their, their popularity, not many people visit the region. Uh, Wink Lorch, who's you know the big expert on Jura, uh, says that it's hidden between Burgundy and Switzerland, and I actually think that's that's a very good description. So uh, I'm just going to give you a little uh, background of what the Jura looks like physically. Um, so uh, the um, point today is really to talk about the wine, so I'm going to keep it short. I'm going to try to give you an idea in just 10 slides. Um, Jura is a mountainous region. Oh my God, is it mountainous. You're driving through and you, you see hills, you can't see anything, hills, forest, hills, forest. Come around the corner and you find these beautiful little towns just nestled in between these peaks. This is very, very typical in the Jura. Um, and these are not little mountains. We're not talking hills here. Um, technically, the Jura is a subalpine region, so it is north of the Alps that separate France and Italy. So it runs right on the, the border of Spain, uh, sorry, the border of Switzerland. Um, and then up in the mountains, we also have some lovely uh, hills. Sorry, that's, I'm having clicker problems. Oh no, I'm having computer problems. Yeah, here we go. Oops, we advanced too fast. Okay, so um, this guy, this, this picture, I mean, why did this guy plant a farm here? He's got to put up walls to keep his, his meadows from like running down the hill. I don't know. So where we, have, where we have mountains in the winter, of course we ski.